Scene Script Have you ever wondered what it would be like to step on the moon again after more than half a century since the last human footprint was left? The vast, silent expanse of the lunar surface, untouched and unexplored for decades, beckons us again. This time, we're not just answering a call for exploration, but a call to make history. Our journey into the cosmos has been a tale of pioneering spirit, human ingenuity, and relentless ambition. From the moment we first looked up at the night sky, we've been driven by a desire to explore the unknown, to venture where no one has gone before. Space exploration started as a dream, a fantasy of science fiction writers and dreamers. But the dream took shape in the mid-20th century, when we launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. This marked a new era of discovery and exploration, culminating in one of the greatest achievements of mankind. The Apollo missions that took 12 humans to the moon between 1969 and 1972. For a time it seemed like the moon was within our grasp, but then, the footprints in the lunar dust sat untouched, the flags faded under the harsh sunlight, and our focus shifted back to Earth. For over 50 years, no human has set foot on the moon. But now, a new era of lunar exploration is on the horizon. NASA, the agency that once took us to the moon, has teamed up with SpaceX, Elon Musk's ambitious aerospace company, to undertake an audacious project. The goal? To return humans to the moon this time, not as visitors but as pioneers, setting the stage for a future where humans might live and work beyond our home planet. This is no small task, the challenges are immense but so are the opportunities. We're not just going back to the moon, we're to create a future where humans are a multi-planetary species. So how did this collaboration between NASA, a government agency and SpaceX, a private company, come to be? It all started with a dream, a dream of a world where space travel is not just for astronauts but for everyday people too. Enter Elon Musk, the audacious entrepreneur with a penchant for pushing the boundaries of what's deemed possible. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with a vision to make space travel more affordable and accessible. The goal was bold, the vision was clear, but the path to achieving it was anything but straightforward. At the time, the idea of a private company not just participating but leading in the realm of space exploration was met with skepticism. After all, this was a domain that had been dominated by governments and their agencies for decades. The idea of NASA, the world-renowned space agency, working hand-in-hand -hand with a startup, was almost unthinkable. But Elon Musk was not deterred. He knew that for SpaceX to succeed, it needed to break away from the conventions of the past. The company started off launching small satellites into orbit but Musk had his eyes set on a bigger prize, human space travel. And then, came the unlikely partnership. NASA, recognizing the potential in SpaceX's innovative approach, decided to collaborate. This was not without its challenges. There were technical issues to overcome, financial hurdles to cross, and a lot of convincing to be done. But the two organizations persevered. They navigated through the storm, learning from each other, pushing each other, and in doing so, they changed the landscape of space exploration. This partnership led to the development of the Dragon spacecraft, which has since transported astronauts to and from the International Space Station. It also paved the way for SpaceX's Starship, which is set to take astronauts back to the moon. Despite the odds, this unlikely partnership has led to some of the most significant advancements in space exploration. The mission, known as Artemis, aims to take humans back to the moon by 2024. This ambitious project marks a new chapter in space exploration, a return to the moon for the first time since the Apollo missions of the late 20th century. Yet this time we're not just visiting. The goal of Artemis is to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon, paving the way for further exploration into the deeper realms of our solar system. Integral to this mission is SpaceX's Starship, a spacecraft that's more than just a vessel, it's a testament to human ingenuity. This spacecraft will serve as the Lunar Shuttle, transporting astronauts from their lunar orbit down to the moon's surface. Imagine it humans, your fellow Earthlings making that descent back to our celestial neighbor, all aboard the SpaceX Starship. But how does one design a spacecraft capable of such a feat? Well that's where the hard work really begins. The lunar vehicle's design is currently being put through its paces at an experimental station in South Texas. This isn't your average car test drive, no, this is rigorous, intensive testing, designed to ensure the Starship can withstand the harsh realities of space travel. 
From the vacuum of space to the moon's low gravity, the Starship must prove itself capable of not just surviving, but thriving in these conditions. The Starship, once completed, will be a beacon of technological achievement. A vessel designed not just for a single trip, but for multiple reuses, ushering in a new era of sustainable space travel. This is a mission that pushes the boundaries of what we believe is possible, a mission that demands the very best of human innovation and resilience. A mission of this magnitude comes with a hefty price tag. Creating a viable lunar vehicle and ensuring a safe journey to and from the moon doesn't come cheap. This statement could not be more true when it comes to the ambitious project undertaken by NASA and SpaceX. To bring this moon mission to life, NASA awarded SpaceX a contract worth a staggering $2.89 billion, a number as grand as the mission itself. This figure covers the cost of developing the lunar version of the Starship, the vehicle that will transport our astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. It also includes the cost of testing, which is taking place at an experimental station in southern Texas. Now you might be wondering, why spend so much on a trip to the moon? The answer lies in the value of space exploration itself. Space exploration pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and technology. It inspires generations to dream big and strive for the impossible. It fuels innovation and technological advancements that often find their way into- It is a mission that goes beyond what we think is possible. A mission that demands the best of innovation. Why La Resistencia Humanis? A mission of this magnitude comes with a very high price tag. Creating a viable lunar rover and ensure safe travel to and from the moon, not cheap. This statement could not be truer. When it comes to the ambitious project undertaken by NASA and space to bring this lunar mission space to life. Space exploration can also have economic benefits. It can stimulate the economy by creating jobs, fostering new industries, and encouraging technological innovation. It can also lead to the development of new products and services that can be commercialized. So while the cost of this exploration may seem steep, the potential returns, in terms of knowledge, innovation, economic growth and inspiration, are immeasurable. With a successful mission, the rewards could be astronomical. But why go back to the moon at all? What's the significance of this journey? Well, the answer is threefold. Scientific discovery, economic potential, and geopolitical prominence. First, let's talk about science. Returning to the moon isn't just about revisiting an old friend, it's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The lunar surface is a trove of scientific riches, from the potential water ice in its polar craters, to the clues about the early solar system hidden in its ancient rocks. With every step we take on the moon, we're unraveling the mysteries of our universe and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. Now let's consider the economic implications. There's a burgeoning and prepare for travel, even more grandiose, such as manned missions to Mars, knowledge and experience, acquired in this company, and then, could pave the way, to unravel the mysteries of our universe, maybe even find extraterrestrial life, in addition to space exploration, can also bring economic benefits, can boost the economy by creating jobs, fostering new industries, acquired in this company, as well, Played condenser of the Sarolo Dean Wavos productos and services that can be marketed. So although the cost of this exploration may seem high, the potential benefits in terms of knowledge, innovation, economic growth, and inspiration are immeasurable. If the mission is successful, the rewards could be astronomical. But why go back to the moon? How important this trip is? The answer is threefold scientific discovery, economic potential and geopolitical prominence. First of all, let's talk science. Return to the moon. It's not just about revisiting to venture where no one has gone before. Space exploration started as a dream, a fantasy of science fiction writers and dreamers. But the dream took shape in the mid 20th century when we launched the first artificial satellite Sputnik into orbit. This marked a new era of discovery and exploration, culminating in one of the greatest achievements of mankind. The Apollo missions that took 12 humans to the moon between 1969 and 1972. For a time it seemed like the moon was within our grasp, but then, the footprints in the lunar dust sat untouched, the flags faded under the harsh sunlight, and our focus shifted back to Earth. For over 50 years, no human has set foot on the moon. 
But now, a new era of lunar exploration is on the horizon. NASA, the agency that once took us to the moon, has teamed up with SpaceX, Elon Musk's ambitious aerospace company, to undertake as Mars. This could open up a new era of space tourism and interplanetary trade, creating jobs and generating wealth. Finally, there is the geopolitical aspect. The moon like Antarctica is a global commons to our everyday lives. But the potential returns from this particular venture are even more significant. This mission into our everyday lives. But the potential returns from this particular venture are even more significant. This mission it could pave the way for unlocking the mist to venture where no one has gone before. Space exploration started as a dream, a fantasy of science fiction writers and dreamers. But the dream took shape in the mid-20th century, when we launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. This marked a new era of discovery and exploration, culminating in one of the greatest achievements of mankind. The Apollo missions that took 12 humans to the moon between 1969 and 1972. For a time it seemed like the moon was within our grasp, but then, the footprints in the lunar dust sat untouched, the flags faded.